everyone. My name is Erin Gifford. I have been a graphic designer for over 17 years and the last couple of years I started making tutorials for Illustrator and Photoshop and I have a new tutorial to bring to you today. This was actually a request from um, one of my subscribers and if we look at um, this artwork uh, my subscriber was wondering, um, this is artwork that is going to be made into a sticker design, so it needs a die cut path around the artwork, and uh, he wanted to know how to do that. So I am going to use this as my second example, um, because it's a, it, it just involves one more step, but we're going to start uh, with this logo, um, and we're just going it, to, it's a matter of two different... Um, well, in the beginning, it's a matter of one command that's super simple in order to make um, an outline for anything. It doesn't have to be a sticker, but I'm just going to use that in this instance. So, so let's say this is our artwork, and we're going to have some custom shape stickers printed or decals or anything, really. Um, and the printer will want a die-cut reference um, which will kind of be an outline around the artwork. So there's a really easy way to do that. You select your outer path, um, and then we go to, up to object, down to path, and we do offset path. And then it just gives us a couple options, and when you're new at this, it's easiest just to play around with these numbers and look at your results. But I'm just gonna guess, because um, I was playing around with this earlier, and I'm going to use 35 pixels as my offset amount. Um, and I'm going to round the joints so that it gives it a nice curve. Uh, and the meter limit is the corner... Uh, how do I want to say it? It is the roundness in the corner. So like right here where there's a sharp point, if there's a, um, the higher the meter limit the more rounded that's going to be. So you can th play around with all three of these until you um, get what you want. And in order to preview that, just hit this little button down here. So you can see this outside path is the offset. And that might actually be a little bit too much space between the artwork and the edge of the sticker. So let's knock our offset down to 25. Uh, we could even go a little bit less. Let's go 20. But I like the roundness. Um, so the meter limit is good. Let's just switch this so you can see. Um, there is not really any difference between miter and round. So I've never used bevel, but let's try it. Nope, not much difference there either. So let's leave it at round and then hit OK. And all we have to do now is select this um, offset path and make no fill. And then let's just give it like, usually a die cut is represented by magenta. So let's just do a 100% magenta stroke. So yeah. There's your die cut. Now that is the, that is it um, in the simplest form when you just have one object or one shape to offset. But let's do um, this other logo that is a little bit more complicated. I mean, you could just do a rectangle or a rounded rectangle, but that's that's um, a little bit boring. Not necessarily a custom shape. So. In order to get a custom shape, let's do, we're going to combine some different objects. And obviously the 44 is probably the most intricate. So we're going to select the 44 and we're going to do our object path, offset path. And again, play around with this. Um, probably could go a little bit more back up to 30. That looks good. Okay, so we have this as our cut line on the outside. Imagine these, we're going, to, we're going to combine these when we're all done. But then I'm thinking probably a rounded rectangle for each of these sides. So let's draw here. 
3 make that line up with the bottom of the 44 as close as we can we can always adjust it and then in order to duplicate this over to the other side we're gonna hold down our shift control alt and drag it over there we go so then we want to combine these shapes to get an outline and the easiest way to do that um, our 44 is grouped together so let's go ahead and go up to object and do an ungroup so that we can just select that outside shape hold your shift key down and hold and oops um, select both the outlines of the 44 select both the rectangles and then we're going to bring our pathfinder palette up and we are going to select this first one that says unite and that is going to unite it unite all um, four of our objects into one shape so in essence that is the outline of our sticker so then we just have to change our colors here no fill and do our magenta cut line and there we go so if this you know is too much of an uh, cut in or um, you want it less or more detailed you just have to adjust those settings in your um, path and then offset so you could the more you offset it the less detail it will have so you could do um, 40 pixels and you could do your meter limit at 5 and there it's not as detailed it just kind of gives a little bump for each of the fours that kind of thing so um, play around with those offset path options until you get the look of the outline that you want so there you have it I hope this helped you out um, it's such a simple command but I do honestly use it quite a bit so any questions let me know in the comments below or um, send me an email. My email is below as well. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.